Hi everyone. So this week we're going to focus on reading our notes. So we're dealing directly with rhythms, not notes on a staff yet, number one. And number two, um, in the past you have just been echoing rhythm patterns. This time we're actually going to see the rhythm patterns. So any time that you're reading a book, you need to look at the pages to read, right? If your teacher was to read it to you, you can just close your eyes and listen. But even when I read it to you, I need you to look at the notes. Just like when you're learning to read, you will look at a word as someone tells you what the word is, and then it becomes yours. So if you're looking at the notes, when I read at the rhythm patterns, as I read, your brain will absorb them. It's amazing how that works. So let's get started on this. I will show you these are our dues and these are our due days. The numbers at the beginning tell us how many beats per measure. A measure is a unit of time in music and it's indicated and separated by bar lines. So these are our bar lines and here is our time signature. A time signature looks like a fraction, but it in itself is not a fraction. The top number is telling us how many beats per measure and then the bottom number tells us which note gets the beat. So in this case, we are looking at quarter notes are getting the beat because on the bottom it says four, which indicates quarter. So quarter note, which is this and this and that, those are gonna get the full beat. If you notice in this measure, here's our bar lines, we have two quarter notes. So this makes sense up here that there are two beats per measure. When we are doing our beats, you are giving me quarter notes, whether you know it or not. Right now, you're giving me quarter notes. So beat, beat, steady, beat would be quarter, quarter, okay? And then um, we always read in the same direction we read our books from left to right. So if I was to show you this and to show you this, someone might say, oh no, the card on the bottom is upside down. But I want to explain to you, our stems of our notes can go in either direction. So our note head is the blob or the circle of the note. And then the stem is what comes off the note. What you're seeing down here, or up here in this case, is called a um a bar, okay? So the bar of the note is down or up, depending on where the stem goes. Now, the stems can go either way, and there's kind of rules about that, but we're not gonna get into that now. I just want you to know that this is not upside down. It says two, four over here on the left-hand side where it should. So just so you know, don't feel alarmed when you see the stems go up or down in different directions, because they can do both, depending on where they are on the staff. Okay, now when we see these, we're saying do. When we see these, we say due day. So, so far you've heard do and due day, but here it is. You are seeing it now. So in this case, we would do beat, beat, steady, beat, do, due day, do, do. Can you repeat that? Do, do, day, do, do. Your turn. Good. All right, always give me the beat, fist on top of fist, so that you can feel the beat with your body without hearing it. Okay, the next card, we're just gonna go through the cards so you get familiar with seeing them. But like I said, don't tune out. Keep your eyes right here as I go through them because your brain will then recognize what you've already been hearing and you will learn it faster, I guarantee you. The second card, do day do, do day do. I am giving you time to repeat them after me. Did you just do that? Great, I knew you could do it. Repeat after me. Do, day, do, day, do, do. Great. And repeat after me. Do, day, do, do, day, do, day. Good. Going on. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do. Good, are you watching the cards? Do I need to point? I can for a little bit. Do, do they, do they, do. Did that help? I'm gonna keep going. 
do they do, do, do. Good job. This one. Do, do, do they do. Good job. So I'm going to give you one for yourself without me saying it first. I would like you to see if you can do it by yourself. Oh, I got these all messed up. So give me a second to straighten it out and we'll go back. Great. There you go. It's your turn. One, two, steady beep. Did you say do? Do they do? Do? Awesome. I'm going to echo you this time. So when I point, I'd like you to say it yourself and then I'll echo you so you can hear if you had it right or not. And if you don't have it right, it's okay. This is your first time reading. Did you think it would be this simple? It's very simple. Okay, here we go. Your turn. Beat, beat, steady, beat. Do they do? Do they do? Is that what you said? Good job. Here you go. Beat, beat, steady, beat. Do, do they, do they do? Your turn. Beat, beat, steady, beat. Do they do, do, do? I like echoing. It's more fun. Your turn. Beat, beat, steady, beat. Do, do, do they do? Good. Your turn. Beat, beat, steady, beat. Do they, do they, do they do? Good job. Your turn. Beat, beat, steady, beat. Do they do, do they, do they? Good job. Again, one more time, last card. Beat, beat, steady, beat. Do they, do they, do, do. Awesome. Do you see how easy it is to read the cards? If you didn't feel it was easy, go ahead and watch the video again. See if you can catch on. The important thing is to remember when we're doing this exercise, you must look up. Don't just echo me. Of course, you can't echo me when you're reading the cards first, but don't, don't just tune out. Get your eyes on the card, and even when I'm reading them, follow along. Eventually, I won't be touching the cards and showing you where we're at. You'll have to read it straight across by yourselves, and you will echo each other, and we'll play some games with the cards. Okay, the next thing I want to just mention to you is that be careful when you're doing your steady beats. You're doing beat, beat, steady, beat. And for example, if we were to use this card... I want to make sure that you say like this. Do they do, do, do. Notice that I didn't do, do they do, do, do. That's the rhythm that I just put in my hand. When the beat is steady and doesn't change like this, do they do, do, do. That's the right way. Now, a little trick. So, do they splits the quarter note. Okay, an eighth note is half the amount of a quarter note. You can take a quarter note and split it into two eighth notes. So we want to make sure those eighth notes are even. A way that I can tell you to do that, a little kind of trick, is that when you're doing your beats, you go do day. When you bring your hand up, it's the day part of do day. So let me show you. Do day, do day, do day, do. Can you do that with me? Say it with me too. Do they, do they, do they, do. Good. Do will always be the beat. Do, 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 do. When we say do they, split it equally. And when my hand comes up, that's the day part. Here we go. Let's say all do days for four, four counts. One, two, ready, do days. Do they, do they, do they, do they. Good. Let's do four quarter note on the beat. Do, 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 do. See how that works? So make sure when you're doing the beat that you're not splitting up your beat with your rhythm. We don't want to do our rhythm in our hands. Sometimes we might clap a rhythm, but right now when, when we do our beat, it's always steady and it doesn't change with our words or with the rhythm. 
See how I did that with my words? It doesn't do that. It doesn't change. It always stays the same. Be steady. Be okay. Great. Thanks for listening today. And I will see you guys later. Bye.